let's have a look and see. So here is one kit. Pretty much everything that comes in the box is there. Okay, so here we are putting it together. So you just start by putting the front rail onto the two side rails. Make sure you're using the right one though because they bundled it up wrong and gave me that piece. We actually need this piece, this L-shaped piece with the label on it. Otherwise the spacing between the teeth is all wrong. So you install that on the front. I messed this up a little bit so um, I'm just going to fast forward the video now. Uh, and you'll just see how it all goes together. We have these two rods which need to slide in to hold all of those combs in place. So I'm turn this to the side. So I would advise before pushing it all the way in. You see, I've missed that first one there. And that one, and that one, missed all of these. So yeah, a bit of a pain that. Oh, thing as well. These magnets. It's aluminium, sadly. I was hoping it was steel. We'll do a blue Peter here and I'll come back to it when it's built. And that's it. It's assembled. One thing I would say I noticed about it, I've really nipped up all of the screws on here very, very tight. And there is a little bit of twist. You can deform it so it's not square. So here it is installed in my uh, temporary enclosure. Um, there's a few things I'm not happy with, if I'm honest, instantly. Given the height of the new cutting bed off of the floor of the enclosure, you can see here that uh, the, the studs of the hold downs actually sit above the base of the frame. Um, and that's a bigger problem when you come down to your sort of home position you can see that um, as the machine if you were to home it it's gonna hit bang so it's too high so what you need to do is to make some legs for it why do you have to make some legs for it they should be supplied to raise the uh, the frame of the laser up in order to create space for the gantries to run. That's the biggest problem. Uh, this edge is flush. There's no lip around it. There's nothing for you to push your edge up against, which is even worse in the corner then. So you've got nowhere to index your material into. That's why I'm going to try and find a way of attaching a ruler guide in the corner so that I can locate some material. Secondly, the hold down clamps, well, they're just they're rubbish, frankly, I think. Um, biggest problem is that, as you'll see here, look at this space underneath. So unless you use a spacer the same thickness as your material, it's going to kick up, which means that the laser, when it comes along, won't be able to go there. And also, if you've got a small, smaller workpiece, particularly close to the edge, 
that brings it up on a tilt. This is aluminium, so you can't use any magnetic clamps, so that's no good. So, as you'll see here, uh, I've just put in a piece of scrap wood from a box cutout underneath the, the fixing point for the hold down, and that's taken out most of that flex there and is holding the, the material down well using the same thickness as the material being cut. Um, so what I'm hoping is when I make my ruler, if I have some holes, I can affix the ruler down to this. Uh, I will cut it so that it's bigger than I want to be and get the machine to actually cut out the working space in that ruler so that I can then pull the work down to it. Overall, this cost $200 nearly. And um, is it worth the money? I don't think so. It's... Yeah, it's garbage. So here's what I've done to solve the issues that I'm having with the bed. Um, firstly, I've fixed it down so that it can't move um, on both sides. Squared it up so that now it uh, stays in the same place all of the time in order for these rulers to work. So I've made a ruler that slots into the track using the, the tr track nuts so that I can simply just bring a piece of material in and index it into the corner and then I know when I position something in light burn exactly where it's going to cut. Um, I've had to raise the bed, this is a bit of a work in progress. You can't raise it by more than 30 mil um, above the original height because otherwise when you're focusing the laser this will drop below the fixture and won't hold. I've made some hold downs um, which just I can position anywhere along here just with this butterfly nut and they uh, they will hold the work down nicely. It doesn't move around now. Yeah, overall, fixing a problem that shouldn't exist. It should have just been thought of at uh, Atom Stacks headquarters when they made this thing. It, uh, it's a lot of money for, for something I've had to spend three or four hours cutting pieces and mucking about to try and fix it. It's ridiculous. <laughs>